Hi guys, Snake Doctor here, welcome back to Chaos on Deponia. Right, well we left uh, Rufus here last time having just uh, got the, the ID card for the Platypus Club. Um, I think now we've got to go back to the uh, souvenir shop I think to try and get some more information about the uh, about the actual platypuses themselves. And I think it was Bellevue. Through there I think wasn't it? Or was it up? I might remember. It wasn't the poet, was it? That was Seagull's house. Ah, was it the old town? I can never remember. Rubbish with uh, directions in, in real life and clearly on games. There we go. Alright. So let's show him our, our ID card. I'm a member of the Platypus Club now. Congratulations! You are now officially part of the Platypus we community. Go. Will I be expected to shave my head or wear robes? Nope, but you get a free copy of the Platypus Field Guide. Is there a <laughs> no way to avoid that? Keep it safe. Someday it might save your life. I'm sure it will. There we go. So we have the uh, Platypus Field Guide. Who's the trapper? Okay, let's read the field guide, shall we? The Big Platypus Field Guide, 3rd Edition. Let's see if it says anything useful in there. Hmm, this is interesting. Apparently, in every generation, there is one platypus of each type that guards the nests against thieves. Ah. The eggs of these nest guardians are well hidden by the mother. There are four types of platypus. So a total of four nest guardians. Of course. I just need to find the four nest guardian eggs and hatch them. <laughs> then the corresponding platypuses won't be on the menu anymore, and I can finally invite Gold to dinner. <laughs> okay. This plan is like so crazy. What a plan. So crazy, it just has to work. Right. So let's have a look at each of them then. Oh, we don't actually have to look. It says here that earth platypuses hide their eggs in the soil. It's a okay. good thing I'm not on an island made of flotsam. Indeed. What about the flying platypus? It says here that flying platypuses hide their eggs in high places. They seem to be very acrobatic. I think we've seen that one already. Just like me. I think. It says here that water platypuses hide their eggs near the shore. Well, great. It's not easy to find a place on this hunk of flotsam to which that doesn't apply. It says here that fire platypuses hide their eggs in hot geysers. Hmm. Geysers? There's nothing like that around here. Okay. So let's see if we can find at least one of these eggs. I know one of them was here, wasn't it? In this sock. So let's see if we can... Uh... It's hard to tell from here. Fortunately, I have the eyes of an eagle. And I can say without doubt that this is... Uh... We'll get a bit closer. The then, blind clearly. eagle who stole my glasses out of revenge way back when. Let's go up then. There we go. Can we... Oh, the handle's missing, isn't it? We've got a handle, haven't we, I think? And we have. Brilliant. There's always a reason, isn't there, for Even something. More Oops, let's grab that. And shove that in there. A crank! This crankshaft without a, a crank was missing a crank! It was. Rufus... You are a genius. Genius indeed. Okay. Let's crack that across and let's According have that to the egg. Guy, this is a flying platypus egg. Cool. That's just what my collection was missing. Brilliant. Okay. Let's try and uh, let's try and hatch this egg now. We can get anything up here. Because this, we just drop this one from height, I think, don't we? I found it. So far, so good. Now I just have to hatch it. And how was it hatched? Ah, so it's high. Okay. We can get up to any of these places then. Let's go into Seagull's house then. Let's go and 
inside there. And uh, use the magical bookcases so we can open up the. Huh, this one catches the eye. Yeah. Secret doors in bookshelves for dummies. Pull on the book titled Pull Here for Secret Door. Wow! Who would have thought? Pull on the book yeah. titled Pull Here for Secret Door. Wow! Who would have thought? Okay, so I'll click, so I'll click the same thing. Oh, look, there it is, sorry. There we go. Fantastic. Crow's Nest. All right, so now hopefully we can. Uh, there's the wind sock. Let's see if we can put the egg inside there. Let's put the egg inside the wind sock, can we? That must be it. The highest point of the habitat. Okay, so we can't do that then. Welcome to the flag o mat. For half mast, insert human ashes here. Oh. Huh, handy. Well, that's rather convenient, isn't it? Because we happen to have some human ashes just here, the poet's grandmother or mother. Right, half mast, egg, egg in sock. When it's raised, this is the highest point on the habitat, but then I can't put the egg in there. It'll just roll out the other side. Right, now it's half mast, so surely we can put it in. Okay, it's not ready to do. Just need to make it, I guess, a bit tighter or something, I suppose. Let's go back down then. Must be something else we can do. Okay. Oh, the magical uh, contraption there opening the door. Don't quite know what that is. Uh, right. Can we do. Oh, hang on, if we can get. What if that hooks together. And they say I don't know anything about fishing. I've built a fully functional hook doohickey. That should go on the uh, on there somehow. Let's put that on there. Good idea. Now I just have to fasten the end somewhere, and I'll have ah. the perfect catapult. How about on uh, how about on that hook? Oh, <laughs> well, that's good. Nothing happened. <coughs> Attach your insufficiently taut windsock, alright, so that's not good enough at the moment then, so let's uh let's go on then. Uh what have we got around here anything useful? Vacuum cleaner, can we take that? I don't know what good that will be. Uh I don't usually associate with cleaning implements. On the other hand, I like little technical gadgets that make more noise than necessary. Hmm. Can we do anything with that? No. Okay. I wonder if we can. I don't usually. Ask on the I other hand, that. Mm. I just said that. Okay. No, it's not doing anything with the vacuum cleaner. Okay. Uh, is there anything else around here that we could use? Flowers. Oh, what's that in there? Lint trap. Ah, oh, there'd be some. What's that? Is that a lint trap? It seems to belong to the Flagomath. Fantastic. Okay, let's see if we can use the vacuum on hey, the lint. Hey, just for the record, I'm not doing this to clean up here. I'm doing this to test the suction power of the handheld vacuum. <sighs> Slim pickings. I have enough lint like this on my coat. Okay, I wonder if that's made a difference to the... Oh, look at that. Heavily taut windsock. Now I wonder if we can put the... Uh, Put the egg in there, can we? Yes, we can. Uh, 
<laughs> exactly. I just have to untie the knot and then. Oh, okay, right. Hey, got to cut it. What's going on? I can't get this stupid knot open. Ah, oh, why did I have to be such a yeah. gifted knotter? We can use the razor fish, can't we, for that? Use his, use his, uh, <laughs> his exactly. sword razor <laughs> beak. My platypus catapult is loaded and ready for action. Well then, here we go. Toing. Oh no, poor old platypus. They could fly. Whoa! He's off. A perfect trajectory! Okay, let's grab the windsock. <sighs> I'm sure that can be used a second time. So, what did the uh, field guy say? Look, we've got some kind of net to catch him. So let's see if we can uh, make a nest. Uh, make a nest. Make a net. Okay, let's. Uh, what else we got in here? Anything exciting? Let's go out here a minute. There was a bird's nest, bird's house here, wasn't there? See if we can do anything in there. Oh, there's nothing gonna... here but bird droppings, and there's enough of those on Bozo's deck. I didn't have to come here for them. Can we put bread? I don't have the bread will attract the birds. Or oh. here, platy platy. Look at the yummies that Papa Rufus has. Okay, he's a flying bird that likes bread. Here he comes. Right, so he's now doing that. What else have we got here? Hmm. We need to use the windsock, don't we, to catch him? But I don't think he's got it a handle. It should be possible to build something useful out of it—a hmm. landing net for flying platypuses. No, actually, yes, of course. I think we're missing something here. So let's see if we can go to. Uh, where was the? Uh, where was that submarine that we saw? That a kind of. I can't remember where that was at all? Wasn't it here? Down here wasn't it? It's there. See the ass. Let's go back that way again. I think there was something on the top of here we could have got, wasn't there? Ah, there's an antenna there. I wonder if that will work. What amateur installed this? It's in need of realignment. Come on, Rufus, you just realign it. There we go, realigned. <laughs> Why does that always happen to me with antennas? Okay, so let's look back at the map again. And go back to uh, wherever it was we came from, which for some reason I have absolutely no knowledge of. Bellevue, there we are. Right, let's combine the antenna and the windsock. It wind should stop. be possible to build something useful out of it. A landing net for flying platypuses? Mm, no, actually. Yes, of course. <laughs> that looks just like the landing net from the picture in the field guide. Somehow, that worked. <laughs> it's a good thing I'm such a brilliant inventor. Are, Rufus, Otherwise, I would have had to practice trial and error forever. So there we go, we have a landing net. And now we can hopefully catch the... Here, platy platy. Ha! Got it! Brilliant, right. Now I need to go back to the, the uh, back to the shop. Which I think was Where was he? That was still in Bellevue, wasn't it? Of course it was. Uh, back here. Okay, so let's put the platypus on. Uh, where do we put him on the menu? On the nest. Don't panic, oh, my duck billed friend. It? I will save you from the menu. And then later, people will say <laughs> Rufus was not only a great adventurer, tinker, romantic, cowboy, astronaut, and whaler, Amazing he was man. also a great animal conservationist. In the nest. That's a good place to put him. Be safe there. Let's go, my duck-billed friend. 
there's a nest to guard. Brilliant. Okay. Well, that's right. So we've got one. So let's have a look at the. Uh, let's do the next one. So what we've got next? We've got the earth one. Let's try the earth one. So what do we need? It says here that earth platypuses hide their eggs in the soil. It's a good thing I'm not on an island made of flotsam. Hmm. So in the earth, I'm going to rake. So maybe the gardener might be able to help us. There was a gardener here, wasn't there? Let's go over here. Can't go over there. Let's My go and talk to him. Can't pick up the tree. I want to speak to the hoe down, don't I? Don't want the tree. Hey, hands off the tree! Okay. Sorry. <laughs> hands off. <laughs> what? Oops. That wasn't my hands. Because because I did it with my feet. Yes. You see? Here. There's feet. There's a rake down there Boom. with the soil. And there, there's the egg. Oh, come on. Down the that bottom. was funny. Let me get the mouse back and I can point to it. Oh dear, Hoedown's angry. Oh, Hoedown's smacked us one. Oh, Right. What happened? And why does my back suddenly feel like somebody scratched the word revenge into it with a rusty rake? Ugh, must be the stress. Right. So, uh, there we go, the rake was gone, so let's, there's the egg. So we can grab that now. So let's have the old uh, yeah, egg. Well. Oh look, fantastic. Okay, that's no good. So the meerkat's grabbing that. Need some kind of trap, don't we, or something? Meerkat trap. Put the meerkat trap there. So let's cover up. Two holes and grab the egg. Hey, stop right there! So let's move that one and put it there. Nope. Let's put that one there then. And that one. Oops. That one there maybe. Hmm. Okay, right, so, so let's hopefully, oh you bastard, okay, he keeps running away, so, let's keep, let's keep doing him then, let's move those ones there, and then move, Ah, look at that! You thought you could fool me. Brilliant! Yeah, but the wiser man never gives in. Got the egg. Got the egg. Okay. So, how do we hatch this one? Let's have a look at the field guide. Field guide says we. Earth platypuses hatch in frozen soil. Frozen soil. With the first ground frost. Oh, bummer! I can't possibly wait for the start of winter. Okay, so what have we got in the inventory? Must have something by now in there. We've got a bucket. The soil there, so let's grab the I'm soil. I'm sure I could come up with a super pun, but I just don't have the heart for it right now. Spade. Shovel in. I've got dirt. enough loose dirt in my coat. If I need more soil, I should look for an appropriate container. Okay. So, grab the bucket, grab the soil. That may be just dirt, but it's no worse than the rest of the stuff I carry around. Move some of that then, there we go. Hopefully now we can put the egg in According to the, the dirt. guide, earth platypuses brood in frozen soil. Fantastic. 
So far, so good. Now, didn't Doc have a freezer in his... I think he did, didn't he? Uh, where's Doc when he's at home? Is Doc in the dock? I don't think he is, is he? No. That's wrong. I don't remember where Doc's place is. Maybe it was that way. I'm talking about weapon shops there, and the docks is just next door, isn't it? So it's a long-winded way to get there, but let's go to Doc's workshop. I'm sure there was a freezer in here. I'm not sure. Three doors in Doc's place, wasn't there? Doc's office, okay. There was the freezer there, yeah, right, okay. So if we put the bucket with the soil and the egg in into the freezer, who do we have here? Gucci goo! Well, hello! So young and already so aggressive. Okay. What does that switch do? It may water. not be a water platypus, but it swims like one. If we freeze him. Ah! No! Okay. The ice block is stuck tight! I probably oh. need tools. We've got a shovel and we let's use the shovel that we've got, spade. Let's shove that I in there. I should be able to free it from the ice with that. Ah, Brilliant. Cold. So let's get out of here. And we can get back and put this one into the nest then hopefully. Let's jump back to Bellevue using the map. And uh into the nest. Fantastic, here we go. Right, so let's shove him in the nest as well with According the, uh, to the field other one. Guide, this is the breeding ground of the local flying platypus colony, but an expert like me would have spotted the difference anyway. According to the field guide, hmm. this is the breeding ground of the local in. flying platypus colony. But an expert like me oh. would have spotted the difference. Maybe anyway. each, let's see, sorry, yeah, each, maybe each egg has to go in a different place. Maybe we'll put it in this one here, yeah, in the, in the earth nest. Makes more sense, doesn't it? Let's go, my duck billed friend. There's yeah. a nest to guard. Brilliant. You can sit in there now you've melted. <laughs> Brilliant. Right, well I think for now we've done quite well. So I'm going to call it a day. If you've, uh, if you've enjoyed this video, please remember to like and favourite it and share it on, uh, on Facebook and on Twitter and on Google+. Um, and also if you want to subscribe to my channel, you can click on the little man in the corner of the screen here and uh, yeah, he'll take you straight to the subscription page. Um, yeah, please do leave a comment if you want to leave anything for me. I always read them and reply. So for now... Um, I'll leave it there and we'll see you again soon. Cheers. Uh, cheers guys. Bye bye.